Hey guys, Zedog Starcraft with game number two of this three game series between Die Star. Uh, I think that might be a, a clan tag, but anyways, it's going to be Die Star versus T.O.P. Tisali. Tisali will be the green Terran at the top spawn position. It's going to be right there. And Die Star will be the purple Protoss at the 6 o'clock position. So, as you saw last game, they basically both went 1-1-1 one, one, one combo on each other, but uh, Tisali went to go for harassment, but he lost all of his uh, drops, which made his army much smaller than Die Star's. So Die Star just rolled in with his tanks, got superior positioning, and just ended that game pretty simply. But uh, also another thing to mention is D Die Star's economy was ahead. He was able to get a Banshee in there before Tisali got. Tisali had a uh, any detection out, so he was able to get a, gain an upper hand. He did take out about eight SEVs at the beginning of that game, so. That was that, and that's also why Terran OP, Terran is OP. I hate Banshee cheese, whenever a Banshee rolls in and I don't expect it, I just rage quit, and that's probably why I'm gold, but who cares? This game's not about me, this is about T.O.P. to Sally versus Die Star. And Die Star is going rack, actually going for a refinery much earlier than T.O.P. to Sally, so we might be seeing... Uh, a three racks push or something heavy minerals from to Sally. We don't know. Die Star is going to go ahead and scout with this SEV. He does seem to like to scout much earlier than to Sally. To Sally doesn't really give a shit about scanning. He doesn't care. That's probably why he lost last game. Who knows what will happen this game. To Sally has a lot riding on this. This is a semifinal, so if he wins this game, he will move on to the finals. So he's going to have to step up his game. Last game was not the best game for to Sally, but we shall see. Oh no, I think he might be going for a early expen- nope, nope, not doing it, not doing it. Or maybe, will he? I'm not sure. Is he gonna do it? He's gonna do it. I can't tell if he's gonna do it. This SCV is gonna poke around if he scouts at. I think that's why he's not building it at his natural, he's gonna build it over here at his third. I mean at his, at this uh, other expansion over here. Yeah, that's the third. Yeah, he's gonna try and hide this expansion, hopefully again an a lead in the economics but if we go back over here to die stars base he did get a quick tech lab and he's gonna have uh, reapers out on the field fairly soon and if COP just only has marines out and with all this space for this reaper to jump around and just do all sorts of crazy acrobatics to just harass this mineral line he's gonna be in a lot of trouble especially if he can pick off a bunch of these SCVs that's gonna be a huge bitch Yes, a lot of these open maps with a lot of legends, you gotta keep units over here just in case uh, for those Reaper harasses. He uh, wisely puts two Marines here, but uh, if this Reaper gets in, kind of sneaks past, kind of jukes him, sneaks over here, gets a couple of SEVs, that's gonna be a huge upper, it's gonna be a huge leg up for Die Star. Look at this little tiny Automaton 2000 getting in the way of this Reaper. This Reaper is just like, yeah, I'm gonna get there. Zoom. Oh no, he moved his marines. I think he... That was a bad move. He will not be able to see this reaper coming into his base right now. He's going to be going into the SCV line. Let's see how many kills he's going to get. Yeah, it's one. One kill. Stops that barracks from production. These marines do come in. Will he be able to get the reaper? Reaper does go p sneak past. He does see the second. Uh, should be focusing down this SCV. Gets the SCV. Gets two SCV kills. And hopefully he will be able to go over here and scout the third. Uh, he has scouted the second, he has scouted the second and the third, and after that he has put down his, fir his uh, first expansion down here at the natural. I think the Reaper harass was just to do some type of economic uh, harassment so that he can also put down his expansion. So he does have a Reaper, he does have a Marine out on the field, Stimpak research, being researched for both players. If we look at the units, uh, they're pretty much even in in uh in army about the same in workers also but if you look at the amount of bases uh to sally has he is just ahead economically i mean he's got three bases the only way uh die star can do this is if he decides to expand himself or if he wants to build up an army and possibly push in and break this uh he's gonna be to sally is gonna be preoccupied with making scvs to help saturate this otherwise these bases are useless unless he just decides to drop a shit ton of mules because mules are OP. 
I fucking hate mules. Uh, but yeah, he's got Reapers over here at this uh, at the Zelnaga Tower, just chilling. This one's almost dead. He's talking to his buddy, saying his last words because he's knows he's about to go. These Marines pushing out onto the field. He's possibly gonna do some scouting. He has not scouted whatsoever. Yeah, he's in the dark. He doesn't know at all how many expansions Diestar has or what kind of tech he's going. Speaking of tech, let's look at uh, Diestar's tech. He's going for a starport right now and it's reactor on this factory. So we will be seeing some possibly... Actually, I think he's building the reactor so that he can lift off and build the starport. So I think we're going to see medevacs. Possibly some drops. He does have the superior army as we as of now. Uh, Tisali, as I said before, is preoccupied in SCVing up and putting down uh, these mules. So he's not going to be using any of this energy to scout out his opponent with any scans, but he'll just be using it to mule up. Uh, he doesn't have his third or fourth gas down. Uh, maybe over here. Nope. Doesn't have any third or fourth, third or fourth gas. Wow. There's only one gas around this base. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't have anything more than these two gases up. Uh, if we look over at his tech, he is going to be researching plus one attack. Uh, he's getting a bunch of marines and a starport of his own. Where's that starport? There it is. There it is. Getting a reactor on this factory, basically doing the exact same thing as Diestar. Just a little bit behind because he's got those uh, expansions up. Metabacks are already out for Diestar. He could be doing a killing push right now. If we look at the uh, army tabs... Die Star is ahead in army. He's got Marauders. He's got, yeah. Sally has only got Marines out on the field right now. He's got, but while Die Star has Marauders and Medivac, so if he decided to push in with his force right now, there's really there isn't really much that Tisali could do. I mean, he could he doesn't have any bunkers up. He's only got Marines. I guess he could just try and kite. But uh, I think Stim Search research is done for both players. Let me just check real quick. Uh, yeah, STEM research is done for both players, so kiting is going to be a lot harder TBT because they're all ranged, so generally kiting is only good against range versus uh, melee, so there won't be much he can do with just marines. Uh, Die Star trying to do a, a timing push here with these units. He's going to be pushing in with this marine marauder and a couple reapers sprinkled in force, and these medevacs, I think this is going to do a huge amount of damage to Sally's just been really greedy. He's just going straight for economy. Doesn't have an army really. Uh, Diestar does drop a scan. Sees that Sally doesn't have anything. Medivac's finally out. Both armies do stem. Huge engagement in the middle of the field. There are just so many Marines compared to the Marines of Diestar. is going to be pushed back. Those, Marine, those Marauders not too great against all the Marines of the Sally. These Marines are extremely injured though. But Dysar is going to be forced to pull back to the Zelnaga Tower, possibly rally in a bunch of units to help. He actually should have used these Reapers to uh, reinforce his army. They're just kind of sitting here and doing nothing, but that would have helped because they do do bonus damage to Light. Uh, Tisali will be pushing out, trying to gain some map control. He is going to take the Zelnaga Tower, and uh, Dysar will be forced to go all the way back to his base to regroup and make more units. But if we look at the production tab, he is researching Siege Tech, and his plus one is almost done. Uh, I think, I think, I'm not sure. Yeah, plus one is done for Tisali, which is why, even though they were almost even in units, Tisali had the advantage. Clearly, he just destroyed him. Crushed Dysar. Dysar is not looking too great. He uh, is behind in the economy because Tisali had these expansions up much sooner. Tisali will be able to produce units much faster. He's producing off three gates, one, actually, uh, forget, uh, there. Four Raxes, one factory, and one starport. And he's actually doing a ninja expand right next to Die Star. So he's got he's getting a lot of map control, and while he's at that, he's getting a lot of economy. He's getting super greedy. What I notice though is that players who get super greedy usually get spanked hard. I know I do when I get greedy, so I'm always scared to get my expansions. But we'll see. Die Star doesn't have an army bigger than Tisali right now. T right now Tisali has the army advantage. I don't know what Dysar is going to be doing. Either way, we do know that a Terran is going to be going into the finals. Dysar is putting down some turrets to help against any type of dr medevac drop. Uh, any possible medevac drops that Tisali likes to do. Uh, 
to be honest, I think Diastar should be doing some drops because he is quite behind. Especially if he finds out that Sally has pushed out at his base and catches army out of position. If he did a drop in his main, took out all these SEVs, possibly some uh, t production buildings, that would be devastating for to Sally, even though he has such a bomb economy. This is exactly the type of play we need to see out of Diastar if he wants to get back into this game. Uh, he does have a lot of medevacs. If we look at the units tab, he does have 8 medevacs compared to the 7 medevacs of to Sally. He's got 3 siege tanks to, only, to the 1 siege tank of to Sally. If he is able to get sieged, if he is able to get sieged before these armies engage, he will have a huge, huge advantage in any type of uh, any type of major engagement. But that means he's gonna have to bait to Sally's army into siege tank fire. <laughs> oh my God! To Sally is getting a fifth expansion now. He's just getting so greedy with it. He, I don't really know why he's not even saturated on this fourth. I think it's just mainly to have another orbital command up. Uh, I think, yeah. Diastar has spotted this SCV transfer, so he will know that there is a ninja fit fourth right here, and he's going to know that fifth is right here, but he can't engage that. Oh, but he is going to engage. These Marines are going to get caught in the siege tank fire. This siege tank is not sieged up. I don't think siege mode is research it. I think it has siege tank mode. Siege mode has been researched, but he's not used siege mode in that fight. And that engagement was clearly in the favor of Diestar. He was able to take out one expansion and did not lose many marines behind that. He is going to be able to take out this expansion also with just solely marines. This orbital command is going to go down. He's probably going to have to take off and leave, do something. I don't know, drop a mule on these SCVs, maybe kill one. He's taking off. It's inflamed. It's going to go down. It's going to blow up. It's going to blow up. It's dead. Die stars got map control. He's destroyed those greedy little expansions of Tisali, and I think he's gonna bring the pain. This is exactly what I'm talking about when you get too greedy. You just it never works out in your favor, especially if you do stupid things like not sieging your tanks and engagements like that. And we're gonna see a major engagement right here. Siege, he's sieging up right now. Actually, I don't think Tisali has siege mode because he's not utilizing it right now. This army is going to get wrecked. And Tisali's army has been completely crushed. He's only got medevacs left. There's no marines. Only these couple marines left, and they are going to go down. He's got no more units. He said something dirty in Russian. It's probably like, fuck you, and it's GG. Poner has left. I think it was just an observer. But anyways, game number two is over between this series of three, between top Tisali against M blah 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 die star. And was that an intense match? So what do we know, kids? Do not get greedy. Tisali had the lead, instead of macroing up an army, he decided to just go straight for expansions. All that money could have been used for more production facilities. He could have pumped out marines, medevacs, upgrades much faster than Diestar, Di but instead he decided to go for these expansions, which is never a good idea, especially when they're scouted. This expansion was just meant to die. It was just way too far out for Tisali to protect all the way from Mother Russia, and that cost him the game. So, Die Star will be moving on to the finals to go against Roof the Zerg. Uh, we'll be casting that sometime in the next couple days, so if you want to see that, just keep postponed. Thank you for watching. Later.